Welcome back everyone to Storytime with the Wimberleys. Grab your pillow and blankets and let's get ready for Storytime. Today's story is Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History by Vashti Harrison. So this book has multiple stories, well not stories, but information about black women in in history so today we are going to read about Mary Eliza Mahoney she was born in 1845 and she died in 1926 she was a nurse so let's read about her Mary grew up before the American Civil War as a free woman in, Mass in, me, in Massachusetts. Though as a black woman, her career options were limited, Mary knew that she wanted to be a nurse. When she was 18 years old, she started working. New England Hospital for women and children. But she wasn't saving lives yet. She had to work as a cook and a scrubber. Although Massachusetts was a leading state in the anti-slavery movement, dis discrimination and segregation were still a way of life. The hospital, however, prided itself on the fact that it treated both black and white patients. It also had a nursing program that admitted one black student and one Jewish student per year. They considered this quite pro progressive. Mary worked on the hospital staff for 15 years before being admitted into the nursing program in 18, 1878 at the age of 33. That year, 42 students were accepted, but only four graduated. Mary was one of them. As a private nurse, Mary had an incredible reputation as, as being patient and skillful. She traveled across, she traveled around the East Coast and her work helped challenge racism in the South. She was soon inducted into the American Nurses Association in 1908. She helped support the, the founding of the National Association of colored graduate nurses, which later named a major award in her honor. Mary's nursing career lasted 43 years. She was recognized as a pioneer and in 1976 was inducted into the American Nurses Association Nurses Hall of Fame. Her old hospital, the New England Hospital for Women and Children, renamed the DMOC Center in 2007, features a new health care facility named after her. The Mary Mahoney of Center. Here 
If you like the story and want to see more videos, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. See you tomorrow for another bedtime story. Good night and sweet dreams. The end.